Khardak. That's not a term that any of us knew uh, in the past. And it has emerged in the last couple of weeks. It means Haredi Kaldat, frivolous Haredi. It's a term that uh, the, the pronunciation of uh, resembles Haidak, a microbe. And that's the term that those within the ultra-Orthodox community who fight the draft, who not only resist being drafted into the defense forces of Israel themselves, but resent the fact that there are others who go into the army and resort to violence against them, to intimidation. And the posters in the ultra-Orthodox community depicting those ultra-Orthodox soldiers as the enemy along with the rest of the Israeli army and the Israeli uh, civil authorities, are horrific, horrendous. The description of individual Haredi ultra-Orthodox yeshiva students who have joined the army are heartbreaking. Having stones thrown at them, having them spat, cursed, excluded from Batei Knesset, prevented to, from uh, uh, being able to go home with a uniform in a way that forces them to change into civil clothes before they get into the neighborhood. All of that demonstrates that the battle has come to a point where the rule of law, the ability to keep the country together is threatened. And if the authorities, the enforcement authorities are not going to take this seriously as it requires, we will be seeing the un undermining of the sense of solidarity and shouldering the civic burden seriously eroded. We wrote more details about it on Hidusha's website. Read and keep informed as to the battles that tear Israel's political landscape on issues of religion and state. It's critical to have a better understanding of Israeli society and the challenges that face it.